Hey, I'm Paul Stachniak from Butterscotch.com and welcome to How Do I Use the Connect for Xbox 360. Now in this episode, we've got some tips and tricks for getting the best experience from your Connect. So let's get to it. The first tip I'm going to show you is using the Connect Tuner. If you find your Connect sensor is being uh, unresponsive or sluggish or it's just simply not working that well, what you're going to want to do is hit the uh, Xbox Live button on your controller, not the not the Kinect controller, but on your physical Xbox controller. And what this will do is launch the uh, regular Xbox guide. You're going to want to go to the very bottom to a new option that appears called Connect Tuner. Hit A to select that. And this is going to bring up a sort of maintenance screen for your Kinect sensor. So it addresses a whole bunch of problems, in this case tracking, audio, and calibration. And if you take a look on the right side, you can sort of see what's called hand tracking. It's a view of the Kinect camera. And as you can see, it assigns dots to where all the various joints are. So in this case, mine's working fairly well, but if yours isn't, you'll want to run through uh, three or maybe just one of these steps. So in this case, tracking, the first step, it's going to ask you to double check that your Kinect position is correct. Uh, now it's going to adjust the default viewing angle of the Kinect. The Kinect has a motor which can look up and down. Next, it's going to make sure that the uh, play space is correct. So once again, it's going to make sure that you're standing six to eight feet away from the camera. And now it's going to start the tracking test. So what the Connect here is doing is just basically trying to make sure that it can see you. Now in this case, I have a giant light source behind me, which is not the most optimal position to be in. Um, that I'm going to skip this step, but uh, generally you shouldn't have an issue with that and the first process will be done. Uh, next up is audio, and this is essentially the same uh, audio process that we do when we set up the Connect for the first time. So it's going to test your background noise. It's going to check your speaker volume. Uh, once again, you want to have your speaker volume up to the level that you normally play a game at. It's going to test your microphone calibration. So once again, this is a series of, uh, of tests that the uh, Xbox will run through your TV. I've sped this up for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. And finally, there's a last option called calibration, which will fine tune the Kinect to your play space. Now to use this, you're going to require a card, which is located inside any copy of a Kinect game. So it's, a fairly, it's just a fairly simple looking card with a happy face on it. And all you're going to want to do is position it into the green space that, is, uh, that appears on your screen. So you're going to have to do this yourself, and you're going to want to hold the card out and make sure you align the happy face with the glasses. Now, as you can see, it's fairly, it's fairly, it's looking for a fair amount of accuracy. So here you see it's going to want me to back up a bit. And I'm going to try to position that in the accurate space. And you'll know it's complete because it uh, sort of scans the card and it says you got it. So you'll be asked to do that a couple of times. And once that's completed, your calibration is successful. And hopefully your Connect now works properly. The next tip I have is Connect ID. So what we're going to want to do is go over to the, uh, to the other page here. So we're just going to swipe across and select the Connect ID icon in the sort of middle left column there. Now Connect ID is a method of using facial recognition on the Connect sensor to identify a person when they enter into the play space. So let's go next. It's going to give you a brief rundown of how this works. And so what it does is the Connect will now track you and take photos of your body movements and identify your face to your avatar. And it can do that for a bunch of people in your household. So if you leave the play space and your sibling comes in, the Connect will be able to recognize who that person is. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that my face is linked to my Vicodin Junkie gamer tag. So let's select him. And now we're going to go through the actual setup process. So what it's going to do is uh, always ask you to move into a square and create a pose. And the, the process is essentially going to ask you to walk through this sort of virtual grid and hit specific target marks, do very specific actions, all the while it's recording your face and linking that face and those uh, reactions to your profile. Now it's important to note that for this to work accurately, you want to do this setup uh, about three more times in a given day under different lighting conditions. So the afternoon, uh, the morning, and at night. This way the Kinect really has a good idea of what your face looks like at different times of the day. So that's really how you get the best optimal experience out of it. So now as you can see when I enter the Kinect Hub, at the very bottom you're going to see it's identifying and scanning my face. Because my Kinect ID is set up properly, it will actually identify my Vicodin Junkie account with me. Finally, my last step is very simple. If you find that your camera is blurry or dirty, simply take a microfiber cleaning cloth and just clean off all the lenses. I know it sounds like a really obvious thing to say, but some people might not be aware of that, and that could be a huge distraction to your Kinect sensor because it is, after all, a bunch of cameras. So there are some quick tips and tricks for getting the most out of your Kinect, and that completes this series on how do I use the Kinect for Xbox 360. For step-by-step -step instructions on anything we've discussed in this episode, check out the show notes on butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching.